This is how I would learn YouTube if I had to start over. In this video, I'm going to reveal the exact seven step formula I've used to build and monetize my own YouTube channel from zero to five figures a month in just 100 days, as well as the overlooked tactics I've learned from working alongside and meeting some of the most powerful personal brands in the world. Step one is audience. The first question we need to ask ourselves is who we can help with our content. The best way of coming to a conclusion with this is to take a look at your hobbies, passions, and career so far and pick some something that you've made very good progress in. You don't even need to be the best in the world at your chosen niche, you just need to be a few steps ahead of your audience and the people you'll be helping. Once you've decided on your niche, you can start to plan out some problems that you can solve for this niche. Aim to solve problems for the past version of yourself. When you first started business, copywriting, editing, whatever niche you've chosen, what information would you have found valuable? Don't be afraid to give away too much information or give away your secret source. This is going to be your USP. Trends and hacks come and go, but high High value content always rises to the top long term and the aim is to give so much to your audience that they build a connection with you and choose to buy your paid products later on and we'll speak more on this soon. Step two is essential to you not just having one lucky viral video but building a consistent audience of true fans. Step two is content. Ali Abdal is one of the greats here on YouTube with nearly 5 million subscribers and a mutual connection revealed a key part of his strategy to me that has changed the way I look at YouTube forever. But first let's nail the basics. You're going to want to create content around your areas of interest within your niche. For example, I didn't just choose video editing and content creation, I chose making money from video editing and content creation because it combines two of my passions, video editing and entrepreneurship. And once you've established a core audience in one specific area of your niche, you can of course branch out and create content in various other areas, but all of your content must serve your audience. Don't branch your content out so far that your audience isn't interested. If I had a fishing channel, I could branch out into hunting because it falls into my existing content ecosystem, but it obviously wouldn't be a good idea to branch out into toy reviews, for example. Ali Abdal uses what's called content buckets, where he has three or so core topics that he focuses on across his channel, all of which cater to a very similar audience. But he started off with just one of these content buckets and then branched out. So now we've got the theory dialed in, how exactly do we do this? Well, a lot of very efficient content creators pick a core topic at the start of the week and then create their bread and butter, their long form video. Then throughout the week, this one video is recycled into shorter content like emails, tweets, and short form videos. You can use platforms like Chopcast to break your long form content into to smaller chunks to post on social media. Chopcast finds key moments and highlights in your videos using AI, ultimately taking your long form videos and transforming them automatically into social media clips. There was a time when people paid thousands of dollars for short form editors to hunt through podcasts and create viral clips, but now as a content creator, all you have to do is run your footage through Chopcast and you have the ability to grow across all platforms, even if they're not your focus. So now we've got the actual content itself dialed in, how do we almost guarantee that our our content is seen by a massive audience of people. Step three is packaging. In this next step, I'm going to show you how ethically stealing is your key to success with YouTube. The biggest creators in the world rely on proven concepts. Their ideas aren't out of thin air. They're influenced by what video ideas, thumbnails, styles, or concepts have performed well in the past. Find proven video concepts that have outperformed either in your niche or in a similar niche that you can take and apply to your niche. But what do I mean by outperform? Look for videos that have outperformed that channel's average views. This ultimately shows that it's a successful video concept. Lots of my videos are inspired by proven concepts in completely different niches, but these winning concepts still perform well. Another trick to get ahead and level up your channel is to watch your competitors' videos so you can make sure that your content is more valuable and a step above theirs. So search YouTube for proven concepts from your niche and other niches, take inspiration from these concepts, but of course change them so it's not a direct copy. And that will get you miles ahead of thinking of brand new video concepts from scratch. So now we've got a solid baseline of our channel setup. Next we need to take our channel from a money pit to a money generator. Step four is systems. It's time to build the backend marketing and website for our channel. Let's get technical for 90 seconds. Let's firstly use logo diffusion to generate a high quality logo using AI, which is fully customizable so we can get it just how we want it and really create a nice brand for our channel. Once this is generated, we can then take this over to Squarespace to create our website around these brand colors. I use Squarespace to build a website where I can package up my knowledge that's already in my head and sell digital products to people who want their problems solving. Next up, email is not dead. 
it's still one of the highest performing marketing tools and it shows no sign of slowing down. To build a meaningful connection with your audience, add more value to them and build a safe brand for yourself, we need to collect email addresses. And we can do this with what's called a lead magnet. Your lead magnet can be a free PDF or video training, for example, completely for free in exchange for their email so we can keep close proximity to our audience. We can build the form on Squarespace, connect it to our email marketing system, and this allows us to automatically send out our lead magnet when someone enters their email. Next up is one of the most important stages and it's all about getting your ideas across in an interesting and engaging way. Step five is scripting. I used to think scripting was easy. You just type words, right? It was only when I stumbled into the rabbit hole of copywriting that I discovered there's actually tons of storytelling techniques that YouTubers use to keep you hooked and make you watch till the very end. So to plan our YouTube videos, we can use a why, what, how structure. Let's break this down. First of all, start your content with a hook. This is why the viewer should care about what you have to say. Next is the what or what the bulk of your video is about and finally how it applies to them and the technical details. You can apply this structure to each section of a video like I've done throughout this video or you can apply it to the whole video itself. Another very important thing to bear in mind is the two most sensitive parts of your video, the start and the end. This is when the majority of people will click off so it's important to start and end your video quickly. Don't take ages to get into the content of the video and don't go into a long sales script or spend five minutes asking people to subscribe at the end of your video. Weave it all in throughout. So now we've got everything for our channel sorted, it's time to film our first video. Step six is filming. Yesterday I had a look back on my first video and it was a bit alarming just how many things I was doing wrong. But I started off with a teleprompter app on my phone and later leveled up to a thousand dollar camera and a two hundred dollar teleprompter. But spending that much money on an entry level camera is unnecessary to start your channel. I'd recommend using Big Vu, which is an AI powered teleprompter tool for iPhone and Android. For me, me personally, I've always struggled with the pressure of recording and trying to remember the script or video plan, so this app has been a lifesaver. The great thing about using Big Vu is that no one can tell that you're not directly looking at the camera and that you're reading a script, just as I am now. It looks very natural. So once we've filmed our first video, we have the part that you either love or hate. Step seven is editing. Even though I've been video editing professionally for years now, there's a few things I've learned recently that have completely changed my perspective. As a video editor, you edit the video to to the best of your ability and it's posted. But as a creator, you're in charge of the full process from idea to upload. And there's more emphasis on reducing that time as much as possible without sacrificing quality. One thing I've been focusing on recently with my edits is stripping back what simply isn't worth my time. You can spend infinite time on the edit. It's an ever expansive task. So simply edit the video to the best standard possible. But if it's taking you days and days to complete, then it might be worth evaluating if this time is being well spent correcting small things or if it would be more beneficial to cut down the edit time and move on to the next video. Edit your videos as high quality and engagingly as possible and include watch time strategies like timers, countdowns and marking sections but also edit sustainably so it's not a massive roadblock in the way of you uploading videos. Now we've built our channel from scratch, we've built a money generating machine around it and maybe posted our first video. The next stage is essential if you want to gain an audience and income from this. Step eight is progress. Now we've built this machine and learned how to solve problems for people at scale with our content, the goal is to consistently deliver your audience exactly what they subscribed for. YouTube tests your videos on your existing audience and if they like it, it's shown to bigger audiences. Consistency helps you stay in the mind of your viewers and add value to them time and time again. For this reason, I've recently started using storypress.com, which is a content planning tool that allows you to manage the full workflow of content, keep track of ideas and take videos from idea to upload. Chopcast, Logo Diffusion, Big Vu and StoryPress are all part of AppSumo's Black Friday deals, which is only available until the 1st of December 2023. And you can check those out using the first link in the description. Thank you AppSumo for sponsoring this video and thanks for watching.